if you're looking at targeting small business owners through Facebook advertising, but you're left a little bit confused at how to exactly do that, then this video is perfect for you because that's what we're talking about today. How can you target small business owners with Facebook ads in 2020? Now, it's gonna be a mix between interest-based and behavioral targeting, so my inner nerd is very excited to show you how it is done. If you wanna know the different types of audiences Facebook allows you to create and target, I've already done separate videos on those, and I will make sure to link them somewhere up here throughout the video. If you're new to the channel, Hi, welcome, my name is Yoka. I run a digital marketing agency where we help people go from passion to profitable and scalable businesses through sales funnels, email marketing, copywriting, and you guessed it, digital advertising. So if you too want to turn your passion into profit or you want to scale the business you already have to become a business that truly fulfills you and you can be proud of, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get updates on future videos. And then lastly, before we dive in, I just wanted to say I made a PDF overview that teaches you everything you need to know about Facebook ads so that you can start running ads today. It's called I am a boss at Facebook ads. It teaches you all the lingo you need to know about advertising on Facebook and Instagram, as well as a step-by-step -step guide on how to run your first campaign. So if you want to get your hands on that, it's completely for free. Just stick it out until the end of the video and I will show you where you can download that. So now let's hop over to my business manager and I will show you exactly how you two can target small business owners through Facebook ads in 2020. Okay, so I'm in my business manager in the audience section and I'm gonna show you how you can target small business owners on Facebook with Facebook ads, Instagram ads. And I wanna say you can also do this while you're setting up a campaign. I'm just using the audience section because I am not actively setting up a campaign. I'm just gonna be showing you how to create this type of audience. So what I would do is click create audience and then go to saved audience. I'm not gonna explain the difference between the audiences because I've already made separate videos on those. So I will just make sure to link them somewhere up here throughout the videos. So let's say small business owners test. There we go. And we're gonna skip the custom audiences part. Of course, if you already have an existing database of customers, it would be useful to like upload those email addresses so that Facebook can create a lookalike audience and that will be much more accurate. But because we're starting from a cold start, which basically means that you don't have an audience yet, not a lot of people know about your business yet. So we're gonna have to use interest-based demographics and behavioral targeting combined to sort of pinpoint the people that we want to see our advertising. So first of all, if you're targeting local businesses, I'm gonna assume that you're active in a certain region. So that could be a country, even better if it can be a city or multiple cities. And then what you would do is people living or recently in this location, I would probably go for people living in this location. If you're talking about business owners, a lot of small business owners live within the same country, at least as where their business is at. And then you could say for me, it automatically selects Belgium because I am in Belgium. Um, or you could remove this and let's say for me, I live in Antwerp. There we go. And then Antwerp, Flemish region, Belgium. And let's say that I would want anything within, Belgium's not that big, so I would go a bit smaller. Otherwise we have an overlap with other cities. There we go. Okay. So that's if you want to target people in a specific location as well, small business owners within a specific location. Could be useful if you're trying to get a certain market share within a certain area. So then let's say that we want to target anyone. I'm going to say, let's say I'm, cons I'm offering marketing services. I would probably target people above 25. Not, that doesn't mean that there aren't small business owners below 25. I'm just trying to target the bulk of my audience. And not a lot of 18 year olds have a business. Doesn't mean they, that there aren't a couple of 18 year olds that have businesses, but it's just not that logical for me to waste advertising budget on 18 to 25 year olds 
if the majority of them will not fall within my target audience. And then I would probably go up until, let's say 45, pretty broad still. And then men and women. And as you can see, this already drastically lowered the potential amount of people in my reach and we're just gonna keep going. So for me, in the Flemish region, I would probably look for people who speak Dutch. And then again, I said it in other tutorials, I just always select all the options because I'm just, I just want to make sure that the Facebook algorithm gets it. I want people who speak Dutch, which originally is in the Netherlands, and then Dutch or Flemish in Belgium. Uh, again, this narrowed it down. And now what we're going to do is, first of all, uh, there's another video on my channel about behavioral targeting. We're going to start with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to go to behaviors and behaviors allows you to target people on, as the word suggests, specific behaviors they exhibit on Facebook or on partner website, anything that has a Facebook pixel on it. And what we're going to do is I think it is digital activities that we need. There we go. And we're going to click Facebook page admins. And the reason I'm going to do that is because the majority of small businesses at least have a business page on Facebook nowadays. So what I would do is I would click this and then quickly check on my potential audience size. So what I would then do instead of narrowing it down further, because if you're a business to business, 9,500 people in your target audience seems like a lot of people, but if you want this to deliver, if you want your ads to deliver on Facebook, you're going to need a little bit of a bigger audience than 9,500 people. Otherwise, it's just not going to deliver. So maybe we should first of all swap this out and put it back to Belgium and just use the whole country. And let's see how many people we have now. 48,000 people, that's pretty decent. Belgium, again, is a pretty small country. If you do this for the US or uh, Europe in general, this will be much bigger. Also, the fact that we selected Dutch and not English narrows it down. For my own personal use, would probably not narrow it down any further because we all only have 48,000 people in that audience. I'm just, for the purpose of this exercise, gonna show you why or how you could narrow it down further. So what I would do is I would add some extra demographics and interest-based targeting. So for example, a lot of small business owners would be labeling themselves as founder as job title. They would say CEO. And then I'm gonna see if they have it as a job. Maybe suggestions. Da, da, da. Managing director. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I know what else we can add. Forgot to mention this. Okay, so we're gonna go, and as as you can see, I'm just going through it with you. Facebook comes up with new stuff all the time. You're gonna have to keep playing around with this. And this is like my inner nerd is coming out. I love this stuff. So again, if we go here, we go to digital activities and we go to Facebook page admins, we've now selected business page, but actually, let's say you wanna target food uh, restaurant pages, or you want to target travel and tourism page admins. I'm just gonna stick with food and restaurant, and then maybe hmm, retail. This could be smaller shops and stuff like that. So I'm gonna add that in as well. Let's see what that did. It added another 11,000 people in the pool. This is also, if you wanna, for example, depending on what kind of service or product you're offering, add in educational level, um, interests. I'm looking for job titles. So I'm just gonna go suggestions. There we go. Restaurant owner, perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Small business owners is actually a behavior that we missed in the digital activities. So that's what we're gonna add as well. Owner and CEO, founder, director, CEO, owner and founder, owner, business owner, founder and manager, co-owner. And you should just keep on sort of browsing through this and add anything else that you think is relevant to, of course, we're trying to target small business owners, but there's a lot of differences in what kind of product or service are you offering? What type of small business are you trying to target? So make this uh, custom to whatever you are offering. But I think the most important thing that you saw is region 
And then the behavioral targeting, which is business page admins, food and restaurant page admins, if relevant for you, retail page admins. And then there's another behavior that we miss, which is small business owner behavior. So let's see where that is, this one. There's also behaviors and then digital activities and then small business owners. It's actually a thing that Facebook allows you to click on. And this will be a combination of um, people who list themselves as small business owners or own small business pages on Facebook. And then add any relevant job title. At the moment, the way that we've structured it is that either of these things will put someone in our target audience. So if they've listed themselves as a founder, they will be put in there even if they don't have a business page, etc. If you're trying to narrow down your audience, instead of adding it like this, what you would do is you would say small business owner, and then let's remove these things. There we go. Remove this. And remove this. And so if right now we're at 79,000 people, if I want to narrow it down, this is where I would be I click narrow down instead of adding it on top. So then if I click owner and founder, owner, founder, owner and CEO, co-founder, owner, manager, CEO, founder, director, CEO, and you'll see that this has drastically narrowed down the size of the audience. Of course, I don't want to do that because I'm already in such a small market. So I would just add them in here and then you would just click create, save, audience and that's it that's how you target small business owners on Facebook as you can see the options are almost limitless when it comes to targeting people through Facebook and Instagram advertising and I said it in other videos and I will say it again what you really should do is just take an hour take two hours three hours and just play around with it really dive into your audience settings and and try and figure out what would be good targeting for your product or service? And I can't stress this enough, your product or service. There is no clear cut way of targeting um, one audience for everyone. You need to figure out what works for you and for your business, the product or service that you are offering. So just play around with it. Even for me, after years, I still discover new stuff. And for me, maybe because I'm a bit of a geek, I really, really love it then if you want to download my i am a boss at facebook ads free pdf overview the guide that will teach you everything you need to know to set up your first campaign just head over to my website and we'll put it on the screen somewhere here it's www.yokodesert.com slash i am a boss at facebook ads or simply click the link in the description below and you can download it for free if you still have questions, leave them in the comments. In the upcoming weeks, I will upload more videos on Facebook and Instagram advertising. If you wanna see something specific, just again, drop it in the comments and I will make sure if enough people request it to make a video on it. And then in the meantime, check out some of these other videos over here that will help you turn your passion into profit. And then I will see you next time. Bye guys.